Greetings and salutations and welcome to Reading Between the Lines. I am your host, The Water Dog, and today I'm going to continue my series on the summer releases, and we're going to be doing the third new blood, which is Gangrel. But before I do that, i got a couple of things. Number one, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means a whole lot to me, and I appreciate it. And then don't forget, we've got our big week tournament, the Dance Macabre, from November 30th through December the 3rd. There's a whole bunch of events going on uh, with three tournaments uh, going on from Thursday through Sunday. Lots of casual play, lots of fun. Please don't forget to take a look at the advertisements that we've got about that. Uh, but that's the Dance Macabre, November 30th through December the 3rd, because we just don't two-step in Texas, baby. <laughs> there we go. Hey, let's get to this new blood stuff, man, because Gangrel, one of my all-time favorite clans. Oh, man, this is good stuff. Let's get to it. Let's have a look at what you're going to be getting out of this. This, is, of course, is going to be a 54-card set. Uh, you're going to get six crypt cards and 48 library cards. So looking at the crypt, you're going to get one copy of Ragnar Nordstrom, one of Keegan, one of Massa Milano, one of Casey Snyder, one of Kewen, and one of Hannah Nochlinen. Ragnar and Keegan will be your two new gangrel vampires that you're going to get out of this set. And boy, are they good. Getting into the library, let's start with the master cards. You're going to get three blood dolls, one Gangrel Revel, one Giant's Blood, one Proteum, one Power Base Montreal, one Smiling Jack the Anarch. Action cards, an army of rats, two deep songs, one rewilding, and five things. Allies and retainers, you're going to get one dog pack, two raptors. Modifying cards, two earth control, one monkey wrench. That monkey wrench is really, really good for Anarchs. Then you're going to get a modifier reaction card. Three form of the bat. Combat cards. One body flare. Three earth melds. Two flesh of marble. Two form of the mist. Two pack alphas. And one wolf claws. Finally, looking at the reaction cards, all that good Anarch reaction stuff. Two bait and switch, three deep ecology, three eyes of the wild, three organized resistance. All right, so let's jump to some things. The first thing I want to state is that I've already covered a lot of the Anarch gang, uh, gang girls in an earlier episode uh, when I was talking about the Shadows of Berlin. So if you go to episode 28, Shadows of Berlin, you're going to see a lot of things about the gang girl Anarchs that I've already kind of broken down for you. Uh, but uh, we're going to cover a couple of new things today and uh, uh, go from there. But don't forget, that's going to be episode 28, Shadows of Berlin. So we're, we're not going to kind of repeat things that we've already covered. So let's just jump to some new things. Let's start with this crypt. You're going to get two new gang girl vampires. And the first one we're going to look at is Ragnar Nordstrom. He is an eight cap, an arc. Cards requiring Protean cost Ragnar minus one blood. Ragnar gets plus one strength in combat with an ally or a younger vampire. He has inferior celerity, inferior potence, uh, superior animalism, superior fortitude, superior Protean. Now, this guy is really, really good for Anarchs, and particularly if you're wanting to do Anarch combat, because not only does he have the Gangrel disciplines, he's got the Bruja disciplines of potence and celerity as well. So that means this vampire has a lot, a lot of cards that he can basically play and that you can also seat him with, uh, you know, uh, Bruja as well, simply because he has those disciplines. Okay. So very, very good vampire fits into a lot of things. And then don't forget that plus one strength, because what's really good about that plus one strength is that if you do, you know, put him into a deck that has Bruja, you can team him up with Theo Bell and Valeria Zenovia because they both also have plus one strength, okay? And so now you've got three vampires at plus one strength with potence and celerity with, an, uh, with, with Anarch cards. Man, that's just really good stuff. That's just really, really good stuff. So, I mean, it's just... <laughs> it's just blow you off the table stuff because now dust up is <laughs> really getting blown out of the water with this guy because he's got the animalism okay so when you play in dust up okay you you know you can do you know any one of those three abilities so with animalism you can strike hand strike plus one damage and this strike cannot be dodged and so now you're hitting for three with a strike that can't be dodged 
okay? Uh, then, of course, you've still got the Celerity, which is Strike, Dodge with an additional Strike. And then you've got the Potence, which is Strike, Hand Strike, plus two damage. And so just like Theo Bell and just like Valeria, uh, you're hitting for four. So really, really good card. And so I, I like teaming him up, you know, with Bruja, especially when you're just talking about the extra plus strength damages that you're going to be able to get off of a wonderful card like Dust Up, and especially because he has those abilities. He plays right into that. Now let's look at the other new vampire, Keegan. Keegan is also at eight capacity. Anarch, once each turn, Keegan can unlock after performing a successful action requiring a Gangro. Inferior aspects, inferior celerity, superior animalism, superior fortitude, superior protean. So, <clears throat> what Keegan is really built for is for you to be able to thing and then take another action. Okay, so you can thing, unlock, and then go do whatever you want to do with her. Probably deep song. Okay, uh, so she can do all those little things. You can do the rewilding now. Boom, unlock, and then go. And so she's built for that. Now, she also has that inferior celerity. So once again, uh, Dust Up is a playable card because Dust Up, once again, has the celerity and has the animalism, okay? And so you can hit for two, and you can also use the dodge. And so Keegan, once again, has a card that is playable. So you could put, you know, Keegan into that same you know, a uh, group of Bruja and uh, Gangrel Vampires that have those disciplines that fall into that. So it makes a nice mesh and make dust up your combat card. So there you go. Uh, but the key thing for her is, is the unlock and then rock and roll. Now, those are two really, really good vampires. <laughs> but I am the water dog. <laughs> so they are not going to be in my Anarch Gangrel deck. They are not. They're not going to fit the bill for me because uh, they're eight caps. They're going to cost a little bit more than I want to pay for. And so for my Anarch Gang Girl deck, I am going to go with the highest cap, uh, a seven drop. And so the great thing about the Anarch Gang Girls right now is that you do not have to put duplicates of anything into your deck. Not at all. And so you can play with, you know, 12 or more. And I'm going to play with 12. And when I'm looking at my particular uh, Gang Girl Crypt, it's going to look something like this. Massa Milano, Casey Snyder, Kewen, Martina, uh, Crow, Dario, Camille, Mickey Wheeler, Hannah, Nathan, uh, Indira, Ruslan. And I'm going with those 12 vampires simply because they are smaller cap and because they all have protein. And I am going to concentrate specifically on protein. Now, when I built my <clears throat> Gang Girl Anarch deck, I built it around really one card and one card only. And, and, and when I mentioned this to a few players, uh, uh, I got a couple of smiles and I was like, okay, <laughs> good luck with that kind of attitude. But I'm telling you, this deck works and it's called Skullduggery. Skullduggery is wonderful for your Anarch Gang Girls. And I'm going to tell you why it's wonderful. Number one, if you look at Skullduggery, it's it's an Anarch action. That's the, that's the first thing, is that it's an Anarch action, okay? The other thing is, is you get to bleed at plus one stealth, okay? So you're going to take an Anarch action, you're going to get to bleed at plus one stealth, and it's not going to cost you any blood to get that bleed, okay? The second thing is, is if you have to modify it, because once again, you are modifying with... Uh, you know, protean, okay? And if you're using uh, a vampire that has, for example, superior protean, you can use form of the cobra. That gives you a second stealth. Once again, not costing you any of your blood to get there, okay? Not costing you any of your blood. So Casey can play it. Kewen can play it. Martina can play it. You know what I'm saying? Camille can play it. Nathan can play it. Indira can play it. All can play that at that superior level, right? Okay, so now you're at two stealth, okay? All right. Uh, and if you want to get rid of an intercept, okay, well, how about play form of the bat? Okay, so you eliminate one of their intercepts. And if you go into combat, you get the optional maneuver, okay? 
Okay, so now you got rid of an, uh, of an intercept right there, okay? And, it, and if worse comes to worse, if you have to just get it through and you want to have to spend some blood to get it through, uh, then you could rapid change. But you know what? Uh, you don't need to worry about playing that card because you know why? Because there are two master cards that you could put in play. You know, it's going to cost you pool, but after that, it's not going to cost you anything. It's Anarch Railroad, right? Anarch Railroad, and then Backways, okay? And so literally, you can get into a bleed with your Anarch Gangrels at pretty much at four stealth. If you have to get it in, you get it at four stealth, and it not cost you anything. Okay, and then you can still get a minus one intercept. Okay, why is that important? Because it is an anarch action. Okay, the next thing you do then is you monkey wrench, and so you all of a sudden you're bleeding for you know four, you know, at two to three stealth, you're bleeding for four. Okay, you know, because you didn't spend that money on paying for stealth. I'm out of that money, but you didn't pay your, your blood for, 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 for playing that stealth. And so that monkey wrench is going to become a lot more powerful for you. All righty. Boom. Rock and roll. Now, because it's an anarch action, you crime a thing. You unlock. And you know what you do next? You thing. You thing. And that's what you do. You bleed with skullduggery. You monkey wrench. You unlock with crime a thing. You thing. And I'm telling you right now, that deck, I, I have played it now, I want to say five, six times, five, six times, and I've only not won the table twice with it, okay? I'm going to tell you how good this idea is. Uh, I had one of my little uh, embrace, Cambria. She's 12 years old. Now, Cambria is 12 years old, okay? And then she went out this past uh, Saturday at the Nefertiti Rising in Lafayette, round one, got a game win. And that's a 12-year-old piloting that deck. Good job, Cambria. 12-year-old piloting that deck got a game win, okay? That's how good the deck can be. And uh, uh, I really, really like it, okay? There's a lot of, it's a lot of fun simply because Skullduggery is that Anarch action. And because it's that Anarch action and because you can crime a thing, it allows you to be multi-acting. And here's the wonderful thing. It's allowing you to multi-act and not costing you the blood, you're able to save that blood for your monkey wrench, and that's what makes it so good. There you go. <laughs> Boy, them new bloods are good, man. Those new bloods are really, really good. I love them. Once again, you can take, you know, two of the gang girl new bloods, you know, and make a deck, just like you can all these other new bloods, you know. So if you got a new player that's coming in, just give them two new bloods uh, of the gang girls or two new bloods of the of the uh, of the bruja and just you know have them build the deck out of that and they can play right out of the gate you know boom 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 uh very inexpensive rock and roll play the game gang that's all i got time for brother i appreciate you watching the channel man and and I hope to catch you next time this has been reading between the lines y'all take care whoa you watched the whole video Hey, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. If you like what you've been seeing, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Y'all take care.